That is so good. All of my precious time. Good morning. I just got done with weight training and on my way out, I saw the car next to me. His car says, and he has a picture of himself. So his car says, um, trust Psalm 34. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. And I was reading that Psalm the other day and sometimes there's little things in life and you're like, oh, that's, that's just, you know, a coincidence. I think that God knows exactly what we need. And I think that he knows exactly how to speak to us in exactly the way that we need to hear every single day. It's like a child. You know, I wouldn't talk to my niece the same way that I talk to my husband. The way that I communicate with her is very different than the way that I would talk to an adult. And in the same way, God knows how to meet us wherever we are in whatever stage of life and exactly what we need to hear and how he needs to communicate with us. He does. And sometimes it's in the most simple maybe not maybe obvious but not so obvious maybe we'd choose to see it not as obvious but let's choose to see it as divine because i think that that really is what it is so psalm 34 i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all of my fears it's good. that's what we're going to meditate on today now with that being said it's time to go to trader joe's because i have been out of flowers for far too long <laughs> I just filmed an entire Trader Joe's haul and it wasn't recording because every time I set it down, it like stops recording. So I'm going to film this really quick, first of all. And I had even a little taste test because it's been so long. So I'm going to just talk quickly because I am so hot in this car. I'm about to start sweating all over again. <laughs> but anyway, I got the strawberry lemonade kombucha. It has been so long since I bought kombucha. I don't know why I kind of just fell off the train. When I saw the probiotics in here, Saccharomyces boulardii is the first one in here, which is absolutely amazing. S. boulardii is one of the things that I have been taking. I actually started taking it before, but we need to have a little update chat because I got my, I got more pathogen testing done and everything came back clear except for mold. So that is, we can chat about that later, but remember we moved out of that moldy apartment that we lived in or condo, I should say. And Bo ended up in the hospital. I was having crazy symptoms. Like my hands were going numb. It was so crazy. And then we found out there was really bad mold there. So I just got more pathogen testing done and my body is still making antibodies against the mold. So I've never really taken binders or anything like that, like consistently. So anyway, I'm doing a whole thing to get the mold out of my body. But one of the things actually that's really, really helpful for that is Saccharomyces boulardii, which is amazing that this is in here. So there's also lactobacillus and there's also glucuronic acid. So that is amazing for liver detoxification and just like liver support in general, like glucuronidation. Actually, that's another reason why I love inositol so much. I know I'm like saying so many words, but inositol is amazing because it's an indirect source of glucuronic acid, which is what makes it so supportive to liver health. So it helps us detoxify. And ultimately that's really amazing and what we need for hormone health. We need to support the liver to get out the old hormones so that we can have 
good hormone health. Anyway, this is amazing because it has so many of the probiotics and this is the strawberry lemonade flavor. It is so delicious. And I'm going to see if this is recording because I'm going to be devastated if it stopped me. Okay, I literally filmed this Trader Joe's haul twice and it stopped recording. Okay, I'm going to be sad if it stops recording. Third time is the charm. So I got, let me finish showing you. I got my raspberries. This is my easiest, best way to get enough fiber. Getting enough fiber, seriously, has changed my life. Just being intentional with my fiber too, like getting it strategically with my meals so that it helps with blood sugar regulation. So berries are the easiest, best way to do that. You can do frozen berries, but I also picked up some sugar plum grape tomatoes and some cucumbers because I want to make a salad later, like a nice refreshing salad. It's getting warm, which is nice, even though this morning was so cold at the beach. Then I got some organic celery because I've been making all my celery juice. I picked up some chicken thighs and then I actually did get more celery juice that's already pre-made just because I wanted to have one to sip on. And then the other flavors that I got are the gingerade flavor, which is so good. Bo really likes this flavor. And then I also grabbed another. I really like the strawberry lemonade flavor. It is so good. And look at that. There is 9 billion living probiotics. That is insane. This is the peach paradise flavor. So this is just so good. This is such a great source of probiotics. Seriously. I cannot believe it. Like the S. Bilardi, 4 billion. That's amazing. And then the lactobacillus, that's incredible for vaginal health. And then the glucuronic acid. I had no idea that this was in here. It's so good. Some organic bananas, good source of potassium. And of course, we had to get a restock of the flowers. My flowers were gone. They were gone for so long. I love the ranunculus this time of year. It's so beautiful. So... And then again, yeah, I did pick up some chicken thighs. I'm probably going to make those for dinner tonight. So that is my little Trader Joe's haul. And today is going to be such a nice day. I have some things that I want to plant. I have a little succulent. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's so cute. So spend a little time in the backyard and get our sunshine. I did my workout. I pretty much got all my steps in. So probably I'll be good to go by tonight. But um, what else do I have to do? There's a couple things I have to do for some clients and then just blood work wise. And then I'm going to be doing just some work on my computer, but it's such a beautiful day. And I just have, there's a lot of things to look forward to because I really am working on so many things blood chemistry wise. <laughs> farm haul we got our blueberries and we're actually gonna make some blueberry muffins i found like a protein blueberry muffin recipe and i really want to try it so we're gonna do that and then some strawberries and they were back with the passion fruit which is so delicious these are so rich in vitamin c and so yummy so you have to wait until they get like really wrinkly this one's not even quite ready yet so and that way they're nice and sweet and then stocked up on our apples Bo has been a little apple he's been eating apples so fast i'm like i can't I can't keep them stocked up around here. And then I got some more cilantro because that's the only herb that we really needed and some carrots, limes, lemons, and an avocado, some asparagus. I've been loving asparagus with poached eggs in the morning. It is like the most delicious spring breakfast. I picked up more of our gold potatoes. Okay, so it's literally 5 p.m. We need to make our muffins, do all these things, but I got caught up in so much stuff. So anyway, I am going to have some leftovers. This is like my very, very late lunch. I never, ever, ever eat lunch this late. But anyway, doing good though. And so now I'm just going to have, this is leftover chuck roast. And let me show you, this is, where did it go? I think I have it in the fridge. Let me see, where is it? This is the barbecue sauce, the date lady barbecue sauce. This is the best sauce, I'm telling you. Look at the ingredients. It's amazing. So I absolutely love that. Look at that. It's made the biggest ingredient in here is dates and then ground tomatoes. It's so high in potassium just for a sauce, a tablespoon of sauce, 145 milligrams. That is amazing. It's so good. It is the best tasting barbecue sauce in my opinion. I love it. And then leftover potatoes and then I cut up an apple. So I'm so hungry. Okay. It's time to make our blueberry muffin. I'm very excited. This feels like a very spring thing to do. Look how cute. I got this years ago at Target and it's my favorite my favorite little muffin pan baker maker it is time to make our muffins but 
I wanted to share something with you really quick. I'm totally feeling good today, but the past couple of days, I just was dealing with a lot of anxiousness, just like in my body, the feeling of anxiousness, almost that like adrenaline surge feeling. And I wanted to tell you what I did to actually help support that because a lot of the times too, like I, even in that moment, I'm like, okay, like, why am I feeling this way? Obviously, you know, just thinking through it. Basically the first thing I should say that I checked off the list is am I giving my body what it needs to deal with this adrenaline, to deal with this kind of anxiousness? Cause that adrenaline surge that you get can make you feel, have feelings of anxiousness and things like that. Like when you feel it in your body. And so what I did is I remembered that salt actually helps to lower adrenaline. And when you don't have enough salt where you actually restrict salt and you're not getting adequate sodium, your body actually releases adrenaline. So salt is very lowering to adrenaline. It's very anti-stress. One thing that I do now when I start to feel that actual feeling in my body is I go first to have I gotten enough sodium today or even not even have I gotten enough in that moment, I will just get more sodium in. I'll rip open an element pack, pour it in and just drink it because it helps me to feel better. And usually I'll do it with like a little bit of fruit. And so you get your sodium and some glucose, very anti-stress to the body. And I, I truly immediately was like, I felt the difference right away. And so I just want to share that with you because the past couple days were just extra, you know, extra stressful for some reason within my body. And I, I'm not even gonna, I, I honestly can't even explain why, but I just felt it. I just felt it in my body. I felt the anxiousness. I felt that feeling of like the adrenaline in my body, like, oh, just kind of that fight or flight anxiousness, adrenaline feeling. I just wanted to share that with you. You already know I love my element so much. It's my favorite thing ever. I drink it every single day. I'm obsessed. And so many of you have told me that this has gotten rid of your migraine. So it is the best. And I recently got a call Comment from one of you saying you got me and all of my friends on element and that comment made me so happy to hear because it really just is the best thing ever they're my favorite they don't add any artificial sweeteners colors dyes and their flavors even their flavor actually comes from the grapefruit itself so that is why I love them because it's literally everything that you need, but it's absolutely nothing that you don't. It's just the most pure ingredients. Oh, and I was gonna read you something. This is literally what I was gonna say. I haven't read this part of the article. Oh my gosh, okay, you have to listen to this. Evidence connecting salt and sleep is starting to emerge. As noted above, research has shown shown a relationship between low sodium diets and increased adrenaline production. This is literally exactly what I was saying. The adrenaline, listen to this, this is so fascinating and so amazing. The adrenaline activates our stress response, our fight or flight, our sympathetic nervous system and is associated with fatigue and lower sleep quality. Okay. So there we go. If there isn't another reason to have our daily electrolyte element pack, another study found that people with insomnia had lower sodium levels in their bloodstream. Case in point, that is absolutely amazing. One study found that restricted salt intake accelerated the process of decreased body temperature. Do you know why that is? I will tell you, even though I've told you before, because on a cellular level, the thyroid's job is to make more sodium potassium pumps. So this literally saying a lower body temperature, which is directly our thyroid, our thyroid function, having strong thyroid function, having good body temperature, same thing. So that is amazing. Restricted salt in accelerated the process of decreased body temperature. Like this is so amazing to me. Oh my gosh. And that makes sense because we need sodium potassium to support thyroid function. You can't tell me that something as simple as salt isn't life changing. You can go to drinkelement.com slash Cambria and you, when you get your packet, so get the grapefruit, it's so good. It's my favorite flavor of all time, but honestly the watermelon is fantastic and I've been craving it. And I do love the raspberry and the chocolate's really good to tea. Oh, you can't go wrong with any of the flavors, but you're gonna get a free sample pack with your purchase and you can try out all the different flavors that way. But link will be in the description box. And again, that's drinkelement, drinklmnt.com slash Cambria. Don't we love don't we love i love to learn something new about them all the time which is why i like to share different things but that's something that i actually experienced in my own body this week with that kind of adrenaline and something that i physically felt the difference in and then when i started reading about it i was like oh my gosh i have to share this with you because if you feel that same way then hey that's a quick that's a quick little thing that you can do that's so simple rip open a packet throw it in your water drink it down 
and feel better because who doesn't want to feel better? So cheers. Our hydration drink is made. We're going to make our blueberry muffins now that we had our little daily nutrition chat. I love to talk. I like to talk about this all day. Oh, it's my favorite thing to talk about. And you always tell me when I say, oh, I talk so long. You're like, no, Cambria, never cut it off. We always want to hear what you say. I love that part. Of, that's like my favorite part of your video. Don't cut it out. Don't stop talking. I want to hear every single word. So this is for you, every single word. Now let's make our blueberry muffin. Okay, one of my favorite things that I've done this year is start writing down recipes in my little recipe binder. And it's the best thing ever because you don't have to read it off of your phone. And it's so much more peaceful to me and just enjoyable to bake and cook and I love it and it brings me a lot of joy. We're gonna start off with two and a quarter cups of flour. I'll probably just put the recipe on the screen and we'll just have a little baking moment with some music. Don't worry, if they wanna see me on camera, come check me out afterwards when I'm cleaning all the dishes. <laughs> smells so good. I could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Ooh, it smells good. I know. That's, That's the vanilla protein. Oh, I can smell that. Wow. It doesn't it smell that so smells good. smells very good. I know. I haven't even Whoa. done anything other than I know. That's very good. It smells like, like a vanilla bake shop. Yeah, that's super good. It smells delicious. Wow, that's probably the best smelling vanilla that ever. Ever. Like it's that, the that, best I just walked in and I instantly was like, wow, that smells it. really good. I wasn't surprised, I'm not, I'm kind of surprised it was the, the equip protein. Yeah. Cool. Well, it smells ama it's smells amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's cool. so good. So we have our yogurt. Two thirds cup of MCT oil. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. You're gonna freak out. Even you know, like even though it's like try that batter. Mm. <laughs> How good is that? Are you joking me right now? Wow. That is yeah. absolutely insane. Mmm. Right? It's so good. Why why bake it? I know you could just spoon it out. Like it's ridiculously good. <laughs> That's good. It's really good. It's like a vanilla cake. Ooh. How good is that, babe? I'm I think the equipped protein oven. made it. I think it did too. That's pretty dang good. You have a fuzz on your head. Don't tell me something I don't know. <laughs> wow. I know, right? I'm so excited about these muffins. But yeah, I think what you said was really good. Ready? Come on, babe. I gotta split with you? No. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. <gasps> look how fluffy it Ooh, is. Look at the bottom. Stop. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mmm. What do you think, babe? Ha. Ah. Wow. Mmm. Ooh. Blueberries are hot. Oh, wow. Blueberries are very hot. That's a really good muffin. That's a you know what? It's kind of perfect. It's not too sweet. That's a really good blueberry muffin. Would you ah. ever believe it's like full of protein and gluten free? Don't believe it. I think that's the most incredible muffin I've ever made. Yeah, this is this is a keeper for sure. Yeah, that protein was amazing. Mm -hmm. The equip, the equip is seriously like 
It's out of this world protein. It's the best protein I've ever used. Mmm, stop. That is so good. I want you to see how fluffy this is. Like, look at the fluffiness. It's a really good looking muffin. The initial recipe called for whole wheat flour and canola oil and then um, sugar. So I just put in honey, gluten-free flour, and then MCT oil. Mm. Mm. I love it. Bo just covered everything up, but I thought I would give you a little backyard update. So I did initially have the hydrangeas. Look how cute our little fountain is. I had the hydrangeas right here and we need to get something to kind of wrap up this cord. And hopefully you can hear me okay with the fountain, but it's so beautiful. So the hydrangeas were right here, but now that the sun is kind of, it's spring and the sun is kind of hitting different parts of the backyard, the hydrangeas were getting a little bit too much sun. So, I stuck them, now they're over here where they're just kind of in the shade all day and they're much, much happier. We have our grill right here. So this whole little section, I really, I don't know, I almost wanna figure out some plants that do, like flowers that do really well in full sun. So let me know if you have any good flowers that do really well in the sun that might look really nice right here. But I just love how this whole like corner turned out right over here and these beautiful flowers. I could not love how this turned out more. It is so, it just feels ethereal out here. It is so beautiful and it really honestly reminds me of Mendocino with these like tall, beautiful flowers. I really wanna go back to Mendocino. We honestly need to plan a trip for the summer. I need to clean that up and then get some more flowers right here, but then right here, this is what I wanna show you. So I went out and bought succulents the other day and I want to plant them in this beautiful seashell that I found at World Market. This is absolutely stunning it is so beautiful i could not believe my eyes when i saw this there i'm actually going to turn it into a planter so it's not a planter but bo's going to drill a hole in it and then i'm going to plant all these beautiful succulents in there and i just think it's going to look so cute out here because i just didn't want to leave it empty so i just felt like this would be a fun little project i thought i was going to get to it today but some other things came up that really just occupied like a huge chunk of the day so I'm gonna try to get to it tomorrow, but look how cute all these succulents are. And I feel like the colors are gonna look so good in here. I picked out some, you know, purple and yellow. So I'm very excited to plant that and I'm just really looking forward to doing that. Obviously the table, everything gets covered up at night, the table and then our couches that Bo made and the fire pit, we're just loving this so much, but look how cute the view is when you sit down and you just get to enjoy it with the lights. It's so sweet. This is such a sweet little yard and I'm so thankful for it. And it's been so much fun to make it beautiful and make it our own. So I really do wanna plant an herb garden though, so badly, but I'm not sure if I wanna do like a box, if you will. I almost, let me know what you think about doing like little potted plants, but I definitely wanna add an herb garden. So let me know what you think if I should do like pots or if you think that I should do uh, like, I don't know. I'm not really thinking uh, an actual, I, I think that I need to get the pots because I think it's kind of going to be the only way that it's going to work out here, just functional wise and space wise. I think I'm just going to put it right here next to the, next to our grill and put it on the table and just put out a whole bunch of the pots. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. But anyway, got our muffins in the oven. I'm so shocked with how delicious these are. I cannot even explain to you how good they are. Okay, so I just did my 10,000 steps and now I'm back. I showered and I'm doing a castor oil pack. This is what I do. So this is the castor oil that I use. It's the Heritage Store Organic Castor Oil in the dark glass bottle. I love that castor oil. That's my favorite one. And then I get a hot water bottle and I already have my wrap on. Like I actually have like the castor oil pack itself on. And that's what I found makes me do it so much more consistently is this way because I did used to use the flannel way where you like soak the flannel. It's like this piece of cloth or you could really use any, you know, like cotton piece of cloth and put it over your liver or really anywhere, your abdomen, your thyroid, you could do it wherever you want. That is the way that has made me really be consistent with doing it. So that way I just literally pour the oil directly on the pack and then I wrap, I wrap it in and I has like little Velcro straps and you just strap it on and it just makes it so effortless to do 
that I've just been doing it consistently and I will say that it's actually been a few years now that I've had pain-free periods which is so crazy I did not even know that a pain-free period existed and with the severity of how painful my periods were I could never even fathom that I was like that's not I don't I don't even know how that's real you know so it's been a few years now but and I've done some experimenting that's a whole nother conversation but with my if you have watched my pain-free periods video I've done experiments over the years while I, I'll like take certain things out and I'll actually watch how my period changes to just really see if every component of what I shared in that video works and really holds its weight and it definitely does it definitely does by all of them by a landslide like I take one thing out and I'm like okay okay but what I will say is with this with doing the castor oil packs I have noticed that they're even better like not there's as far as like pain wise I don't have any pain with my periods anymore which is insane but just the overall color this might be graphic so if you don't like graphic things or you don't like bodily chats then just zoom on by here but hey I'm just I it's just like we're hanging out it's like a girl hang out and we're just like having a sleepover so if you get clots in your period I'm telling you casserole packs will change your life I'm actually gonna go read Psalm 34 because I felt like that would be very fitting from this morning to tonight and so I'm gonna go read and meditate on Psalm 34 I'm gonna light a beeswax candle I will say though like if you are trying to conceive you don't want to use this in your luteal phase if you're not trying to conceive you can totally use it through follicular you know luteal all that but if you are just something to be mindful of definitely do not use it I'm in a season of trying to not trying I'm in a season of preparing for pregnancy and this is really one of the things that I'm doing too it's so helpful with just bringing blood flow and just really helping the lymph which is incredible because again blood flow clearing out old things like really just bringing that fresh oxygenated blood to the tissues is so powerful and yeah I talk a lot about that anyway we, I could just keep chatting and chatting and chatting about all that kind of stuff but when you build you want to build good blood and then you want to support your lymphatic system and removing waste and anyway that's kind of the update I'm just really looking forward to I really what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing my best to prepare my body for a future pregnancy and again oh I mentioned that so I okay I will give you a little bit of an update I mentioned that I got another pathogen test and it came back that I have mold in my body which is so crazy that my body is making antibodies against mold and it's something that it, it did surprise me because I was like well I've been out of the mold you know I feel like I should be fine but definitely not the case and nothing else came up I've just put myself on a, a little you know a little support plan to help my body to detoxify the mold I was really never taking binders before and now I'm taking some charcoal. Charcoal is a really powerful natural binder. So I'm doing that and just trying to really sauna more. I lived in mold in 2015. So if you've been here for a while, and I know we're just like chatting it up right now. So anyway, I hope this is like, when I first started dating Bo, we actually were living in a moldy house at the time. We had no idea and had stachybotrys. It's like a very, very toxic mold. And I was getting sick all the time. If you remember that, it's so funny because I actually remember the comments during that time of like, it's so crazy. Like you get sick so much. You always are sick. You always have a cold and mold is, a, is the most powerful immunosuppressant. And I was like, I was getting sick all the time and I was very frustrated. I was very confused. My thyroid was the worst that it's ever been, which totally affects the thyroid. Mold totally infect, to toxins affect the thyroid. And I just was like really struggling with my health. Like I never really shared about this either, but I was having really, really bad anxiety. And I'm not sure, We, I, I'm not sure if they're, classified as panic attacks but definitely something it was a really difficult time and I really had no idea what was going on with my body that was when my progesterone was at the lowest that it ever was and then obviously we lived at you know the the most recent little condo that we lit that we moved into that had mold I had very apparent symptoms from that my hands were tingling Bo ended up in the emergency room it was really really intense and then that's how we ended up here 
instead of living there. But that's the thing when we did the mold test that that specific mold stachybotrys didn't come up in the mold test but that was the type of mold that we had in 2015 so i'm like i'm genuinely wondering like how long that this has been in my body you know my body's been like trying to fight this which makes so much sense with so many other things with my health and i guess i'll just say this is i've just really had to surrender to god like the timeline of conception because i I'm just, you know, that's the thing now that I have access to all these tests and functional testing, like it's really changed my life. And as you know, I'm not currently running a practice. I actually, my friend Courtney is my practitioner right now. She runs Kale Diagnostics. And if you are wanting to get functional tests, they're taking clients and she's absolutely amazing and brilliant and just the sweetest soul in the whole world. Overall, I'm really feeling hopeful and I'm really just feeling overall grateful that I'm finally figuring out what's going on in my body with where I've been at, just not quite ready yet with my health. There's certain markers that I wanna see really strong and it just makes sense. It just makes sense with the mold and the other infection that I discovered. There's just been a lot of pieces to my specific fertility journey that I've that are huge, huge pieces that I finally discovered. And man, when I first discovered it, it was like so exciting, but then it was definitely like, oh, oh man, I'm like up against something so much bigger than I thought, but Really nothing is bigger than God and nothing is too hard for God. And if you are in a season of waiting or even just searching for answers, I have so been there. And I just wanna encourage you that God is writing a beautiful story for you. And I remind myself of that every single day, even when the pages look a little bit, you know, even when the story gets intense. Suffering, if it's taught me anything, that it's taught me that it really does produce character. And that is just the most valuable thing. You know, the shape of my soul and my heart, there is there's nothing that I honestly value more than that. And there's nothing that's more valuable than my faith. And I'm just, I'm really thankful. I'm thankful that God is the one who holds the pen and that I'm not. And that's something that I can just rest in. And so just like Psalm 34 says, you know, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears. So it's something to just rest in tonight. So I'm gonna have just a nice relaxing evening and go to bed. I am obsessed with this pre-bedtime drink, honey. You are making it so good. So remind me what you put in here. It's inositol raw milk cacao powder that has the maca in it. And then I add Ceylon cinnamon. You put a tablespoon of glycine, half a scoop of the equip protein powder. And then, is that it? Eggshell powder in there. Oh, you do for the yeah. calcium? Nice. It's nice. amazing. Yeah, the glycine's so good. Just one full scoop of the equip protein. Did you do a collagen? Organic cacao. Huh? Did you do collagen tonight or no? Yes, I did. Scoop of collagen, wow. scoops of uh, colostrum. Oh, you put the armor in there. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, babe. It's really good. And I'm obsessed with putting Ceylon cinnamon in there. It makes it so good, babe. You have to try it with the cinnamon. Two cups of milk. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not really too good. overwhelming, like too, too much. Yeah. You know, so. It's really good. Yeah. Good job, honey. Hello, my friend. I don't mind me. I have some xylitol mints in my mouth, but I'm just wrapping up the edits for this video. And I want to do a little mini giveaway. So I probably should have finished my mints. But anyway, do a little mini giveaway. And I don't think it's so many because I love everything in here. I'm going to start with the most exciting. I'm giving away an Armra little colostrum pack. So these are, this is my favorite. I love Armra so much. You know, it is absolutely amazing. Really just for cellular health and our gut specifically, but our gut affects everything. This is the acai berry flavor. This is so good. I love adding this in my water for gut support. It's amazing. I'm also giving you my favorite. I love this so much. This is the tea chino dandelion caramel nut. It's a prebiotic. So it actually has in here uh, chicory, dandelion root, dates, almonds, figs, and that's literally it. It's so good, but it's a prebiotic, so it feeds the good bacteria in your gut, and it tastes like coffee. It's so good. And then you're going to get a copy of Milk and Honey, a signed copy of Milk and Honey, my devotional that I wrote for you. It's literally a devotional journey through scripture to taste the goodness of God, that you would experience God's goodness in your life in every season that you're in. So I'm giving you a signed copy of that. This is such a funny entry. Honestly, you can comment anything to enter. 
But if you want a, a prompt of like what, you know, if you want a prompt, tell me what you think I should do with the backyard as far as like adding more flowers. Should I do the herb garden? Just like, let me know what your thoughts are. Should I add more palm trees? Like, I just want to make it like a magical like Mendocino. I just want it to feel like Mendocino. I really enjoyed hanging out with you yesterday. And don't forget, you can go to drinkelement.com, drinklmnt.com, and get your electrolytes. I'm telling you. Salt, so sodium, potassium, and magnesium, they'll change your life because every single cell in your body needs them all. So I love you, and I will see you in my next video. Link will be in the description for all the goods, and I will see you very soon. Bye. All of my precious time.